So to treat someone, and this isn't everything, but it's some of the most important things. Um, definitely want to replace them with hormones. That's like first on my priority list. Peptides are amazing. So peptides are amino acid chains that are around 50 amino acids or less, and there's different definitions of that. But they turn genes on or they modulate different processes in the body. Most of these peptides are already made in your body. There's thousands of peptides that have been discovered. And now we can use these peptides to help people. Uh, for instance, I have patients that have gone in for surgery and we give them uh, several peptides to take before and after their surgery. And regularly the surgeons will call me up and they're like, I've never seen a surgical wound or heal that quickly. What did you do? Um, and so using these things, we can help people when they have joint injuries or back injuries without surgery. And other peptides can help your brain make growth hormone that goes down over time. In the past, there was really good use of injecting growth hormone, but it it has a feedback loop and there's side effects from it. But these peptides, because they're stimulating the body to do what it's supposed to do, it doesn't have these crazy feedback loops. And a lot of things that degrade over time, like your hormones or your growth hormone, that's an epigenetic modification. It's not, you know, your genes get turned off. And this is a way to like get those genes to be expressed again, or at least get some of those processes to get turned back on.